Hi, I'm Evan Vantazzi. Uh, a long period of time has passed since I developed a, a uh, knockout technique. Now this knockout technique is using a hand posture called the, uh, the blood pool hand. Some people call it uh, Fuk Sao, with the, which is called the hook hand. In uh, Wing Chun terminology, you have it in Tai Chi, you have it in many different styles. And I've worked on this from Super Empire to Sansei Ru, um, to all sorts of uh, different styles. And it's a very powerful technique. It's a very stealthy technique, especially if you're in the clinch position. Now, when you're utilizing this technique, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rubbing on uh, certain uh, muscular uh, tissues that cause an autonomic response. You're going to also uh, work on nerve tissue and blood vessel tissue, depending on how hard or how much power you issue into this. Now I call this the crane hand knockout because again, this is um, from white crane kung fu, you have this and it's many different um, styles that use this. The Wing Chun, which is basically a, uh, a crane style. Uh, it's working on the carotid sinus area of the neck. Now you're gonna be seeing a demonstration where the person is struck in the neck and um, it causes a total collapse of the body and unconsciousness. This also has the ability to um, uh, stop the breathing uh, because what happens is it snaps the neck back and it pinches the nerves in between uh, cervical vertebrae number four and five. Now that's where the phrenic nerve originates and goes down and the phrenic nerve goes down into the diaphragm to make it pump the air in and out of your body. So that locks up and what happens is you can't uh, push air in or out of your lungs. Now, if you'd taken a breath, that air is captured in there. It's hard to expel it because the diaphragm will not push up on the lungs to push the air out. Now, when you, if you got caught as you exhaled air, you won't be able to get air in because the diaphragm won't relax and pull the air in through the lungs. It also has an effect of working against the bronchial tubes that go down into the lungs and it restricts them uh, a little bit. So we have two remedies or two uh, resuscitations for this. Uh, one is striking into the back and that's um, the same target actually that works on um, asthmatics. If you're having an asthma attack, you can release the, um, the bronchial tubes or get them to relax a little bit so the breathing starts to uh, catch up again. We've helped many people with this as just an asthma relief or an emergency asthma um, uh, remedy. So uh, this is to open up the bronchial tubes. There's also um, the work where we're hitting right up underneath the breasts and that shocks the diaphragm. So that gets it moving back and forth again. It, it, it reconnects that neural transmission that was um, stopped temporarily by the pinching of the neck. Now, typically what's going to happen is the breath will come back if you just leave the opponent. But uh, what we want to do is get a quick resuscitation. So first of all, fear. If you can't breathe, you get uh, fearful. You, you don't want to tra respectfully tra uh, treat a uh, practitioner, a fellow practitioner or student with that type of um, malice. You want to help them as quickly as possible, not just watch it, see how long it, they last. Because again, they do get fearful. They think that like they're drowning or having that kind of an effect. So these resuscitations are critically important. So we're going to show you this, um, the knockout, and you're going to see it through the years as it progressed. Um, and you'll see how the people have trouble um, breathing. And you'll also see how they have uh, trouble um, with their consciousness and their physical composure. So this is the crane hand uh, knockout. It comes from the Super Empire. It comes from the Sansei Seiru. Okay, and it also comes from the Wing Chun Kung Fu, Tai Chi, uh, many different arts again. So again, it's not um, the style that you study. It's understanding the targets, the tools, and the trajectories, because all the styles have the same tools, just packaged differently. If you understand these targets, 
the tool you need to activate these targets and the trajectory you need to uh, affect the body um, adversely in this case or um, positively as we're doing the resuscitations, then your art is going to grow. It's a hand posture technique out of the 6G hands. Um, but what it does is it arrests the person's breathing. So you'll see a real need for the breathing technique and then you'll see it done in real action. So the technique, <laughs> You can see that just by doing that one technique, you okay? Yes. Okay. Arrested his breath. Now he was coughing, but what was happening, if you listen carefully back to the tape, you'll hear the air come out of his lungs, but nothing was coming back in. <laughs> All right. So for some reason it was cough, the diaphragm was spasming or expanding in such a way that it was pushing air out in the cough, but it wasn't coming back in as easily. So what I did was I struck those two points to allow the diaphragm to relax, okay, which again got him in a normal state of breathing. Okay? That's the value of this, and this is why we found this technique out of more urgent need. I could breathe out again. You could hear me cough again, so that's good. 